Hello, my name is Emily Pavlik and I am the coordinator for student programs for SACNIS. And today I will be walking you through the research presentation application for 2022. So we start off here on the project details page where we first ask for your research presentation uh, information. So the title of your research, your email, and whether or not this is your first time presenting at the SACNIS uh, National Diversity in STEM conference. Next, we ask for you to grant SACNIS permission to publish your abstract online. Uh, we also require that you confirm with your research advisor for permission to display your abstract online for public viewing. We also ask for you to share your name, email address, and institution uh, so that we can share this with our student presentation sponsors. This field is required in order for you to be considered for an award. We also ask that you confirm that you, the submitter of this application, will also be the individual presenting and corresponding for the submission of the application. So you are the one presenting the research at the conference in Puerto Rico this year. We also ask that you acknowledge that you've read through the application requirements and that if accepted to present that funding for your 2022 NDI STEM registration is not included with the opportunity to present your research. For funding opportunities via the SACNIS Travel Scholarship, we ask that you click the link here. Next, we ask for you to provide your institution type and your discipline and subdiscipline information related to the abstract. Following the project details, we want to know a little bit more about you. So in the next section, we ask for your author information and contact info. So first name, last name, phone number, pronouns, gender, ethnicity, uh, current academic level. And as a reminder, you must be one of the following at time of submission to be eligible to present research. Community college student, undergraduate student, post back, grad student, or postdoctoral researcher. We also ask if you're a first generation college student, where you'll be for the fall of 2022 when the conference is taking place and your institutional affiliation. In this section, you can also provide the information of any of your mentors or additional authors of your abstract. And then finally, we end with the abstract text. In 250 words or less, uh, and in sentence case, please enter the body of your abstract, including the why, intro, thesis, question, problem, how, materials and methods, what results, summary, and conclusion or significance of your research project. Do not include the title of the abstract, do not list your co-authors in this section, and do not include any subheadings. This section is strictly for the actual abstract text. You can either type right in the box, or if you're working out of Word or uh, another document, you can copy and paste it right in here as well. We also provide some examples for your reference. So you can take a look at a low scoring example of an abstract, a high scoring example, just to help guide you through. And then once you're all finished, you'll save and submit. Now, once the application has been submitted, if there's anything you realize that you have forgotten to add or changes that you need to make, you can go back in and access your application up until the deadline of April 15th at 5 p.m. Pacific Los Angeles time. So even after you've saved, you can still go back up until that deadline. Now for any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at presentations at sacnis.org.